Oh, it's a lot of fun. <sighs> no problem. Hello my fellow Chef Nice enthusiasts. In this video, I'm going to take you back in time. Not in a real time machine or anything, but we're going to look at a possibly 50 year old knife. This Minamoto no Masekana 270 millimeter old stock white Gyuto. That's right, this knife came from a batch of vintage old stock Minamoto no Masekana knives that JNS sourced from an old store in Sanjo. Minamoto no Masekana knives share a lineage of the first Japanese blacksmiths who traveled to the west to learn western knife making techniques that inspired Gyuto making during the Meiji era. The oldest company that have made western knives in Japan with Japanese steel. Their first knives are about 180 years old and were inspired by French chef knives. These knives are no longer in production. I also bought these other two vintage knives at JNS, a 330mm and a 360mm Gito. You don't see Gitos in this size every day. But in this video I will focus on this one. That doesn't even look like the knife on the pictures. True, the knife that I'm holding in my hands indeed does not look like the one I just showed you. That's because I changed it a bit. Or better yet, I bunkerized it. With the help of Matus Kaliski, one of the moderators of Kitchen Knife Forum, aka KKF. As some of you know, I am a straight up wah handle guy. I don't like full tanks. I don't like bolsters. I prefer wah handles. So I asked Matus if he could turn that knife into a wah handled knife and also change the profile of the blade into a K-tip Kyuto. We were at the JNS workshop at the time, so we had all the tools needed at hand and Matus was so kind to do so. So thanks again for that Matus, your efforts are much appreciated. With a semi constructed blade, you have the two layers of cladding steel that protects the carbon core steel. So you only have to worry about the exposed carbon steel at the edge. But this white mono steel carbon blade is reactive all over the blade, as you can clearly see. I knew this SK mono steel blade was going to look great as soon as it developed a patina. And it definitely looks great to me. I think this SK steel is a very basic carbon steel, generally used on cheaper knives and not tempered to a very high hardness. It is an excellent steel however, it might just need more frequent sharpening than your average top tier carbon blades and harder modern alloy steel blades. But I think it's practical for professional work if you like carbon steel. If you have never danced with a carbon steel knife before, this would be an amazing knife for your introduction to carbon steel. It is inexpensive or at least it doesn't break the bank. You get to see the development of a patina on a larger surface which is really cool to me. But enough with the talking, let's see this baby in action. <sighs> No problem with the bell pepper. Let's take down some carrots. Nice, nice.
The carrot is also no problem with this bunkerized cuter. Let's do some choppy choppy. As you could see, this blade had no problems cutting the ingredients. I have cut a lot more and different produce with this blade off camera. And each time it made me feel like there is no veggie that stands a chance against this blade. If you are used to wielding larger knives, this is a very practical blade and it's a fun blade. Oh, it's a lot of fun. But to some it's a frightening blade. I showed this blade to Jules from Jules Cooking and I could see in his eyes that he was like, what the F, dude? I don't want to bump into you in a dark alley if you are carrying the knife on you. Well, Jules, that makes two of us. I also wouldn't want to bump into me in the dark alley, with or without this knife. But yeah, I am very happy that I scored one of these blades, just for its historic value and sentiment. Again, these knives are not produced anymore, so... If you're looking for a vintage knife from way back into time, go forth and snag one of these before they're all gone for good. As always, thank you for watching this video. Your comments down below are very much appreciated. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye folks.